Hello and welcome back to Fallout New Vegas Dead Money on Nixus Gaming. Last episode, we dealt with our favorite companion in the entire game, all DLC and base game included, Dean Domino, who uh, got himself trapped behind the stage in the theater here by a bunch of holograms and deadly speakers and all that fun stuff. But anyways, we saved him, and he gave us a few good tips that, uh, he was the one that put Christine in the auto dock. And he worked a little magic so that when her voice heals, she'll have the voice of Vera Keys. In other words, that voice is going to unlock the vault of the Sierra Madre. So without ado, I think our next uh, objective is to go find Christine and maybe we can get into the vault. She's going to be in the suites here, so let's make our way up. That is Christine's new voice, the voice of Vera Keys. We have to uh, make our way over to her. This floor is a little haunting. As you can hear, we're hearing all sorts of people around us that were being recorded by the hologram system as they were dying, being trapped in here. So if they're dead, the question is, what are we hearing? Well, uh, we're hearing, I'm trying to look for one of them. Oh, okay, 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 you're, you're, Jesus Christ, that, oh my God, I didn't expect him to go red right away, Jesus Christ. That honestly terrified me. A lot. Anyways, that's what we're hearing. We're hearing the holograms. They recorded the last words of the uh, casinos, the resort's residents. And uh, are now mimicking their dying words. That one's like right over there. Can I uh, get through here in the meantime? Dude, I didn't expect it. Like, I knew it would be on the other side of that corner. But for some reason, I wasn't thinking they would go red. Hi. Bye. So this one's patrolling around here. If I can find the hologram emitter, that'd be great. Did you leave me here? Why? No. Sinclair. I just want Sinclair. to find the hologram emitter. There was a safe back here I could get to. But yeah, basically all the residents here were sealed inside their rooms and uh, died over time. Holograms recorded them and they literally live on as the holographic ghosts here. Come on, please. This one's being difficult. So just think, everything you hear on this floor are the last words of someone dying. I hear the other guests screaming to be let out, to let go. Sinclair, is that you? Sinclair? Sinclair, it's a hologram I'm emitter in here. God, the security systems won't let me out. They're keeping me here. The hologram emitter is supposed to be nearby the holograms, right? That's my assumption. Now, now I just want to leave. Please. What was back here? Key. Key. 
key. The door is hermetically sealed due, a due to a structural collapse contaminating the air. It needs to be opened somewhere else. There's also a radio, I believe, in that room somewhere that's setting us off. Go ahead and pick this since I can't find the hologram emitter. Why am I beeping? What am I beeping on? I'm beeping on something in this room. Sinclair, Sinclair, I'm trapped. Please, oh God, the security systems won't let me out. They're keeping me here. Oh, I've I've trapped myself by the door here. All right, have I been over here? This is the other side of that uh, room here. Let's finish exploring over here first. I'd love to figure out where this radio is. I don't think it'd be in the bathroom. I think it's on the other side there somewhere. I don't think it's in the room at all. Okay, so we'll uh, leave that be. It doesn't look like there's anything in there anyway. We'll uh, continue this way. There's more toxic cloud here. That's that one radio that was beeping. We don't have the key to get through there, except we do. We have a personal footlocker with more chips. And an emergency network terminal. Override emergency deal s or door seal. Notes on maintenance network or whatever that was. Been reading this over. In the event of a fire chemical leak, nuclear attack. I think I've already read this. I've definitely already read that. Please refer to older episode. Alright, so it looks like this was where they did all the laundry and stuff. I, I swear I just saw a thing for a skill magazine fixing things right I'm, I'm not blind right I saw that but I don't see it anymore did I like kick it off somewhere I don't know I don't need it anyway all right so go ahead and hack this it's gonna be lighter I'm just that smart Alright, so uh, disable the hallway loudspeakers, download the starlet hologram code snippet, download the recipe for a superheated knife, played around with this the other day, and one cosmic piece of shit knife, pilot light, hot plate, something to hold down, hold the damn thing to cook evenly. Preheat the oven to 450 degrees, take one knife, leave on stove, let simmer for 5 minutes, watch as knife glows red hot, put knife on table, melts table, Sue scientists who made damn thing, give it to the military? Sure, status report. Loudspeakers are offline now. And we can now make a superheated knife if we really want to. But I probably won't. A locksmith's reader. A bunch of junk everywhere there. I think we opened up this door here, we did. Is that the next area we need to go to? What was over here? Okay, yeah, so we can't open that. So it appears we do have to come this way. There's a hologram over there. I do see it. Security control terminal, um, document, hell yeah. What can we do from here? We can unlock the security con uh, closet and recalibrate the hologram IFF. I don't know what that did. Maybe it made the holograms let us walk around? I don't know. Check the lockers here, maybe get yourself some armor. Tales of chivalry in there. Probably want to grab that. And a Milserp review. Anything back here? 
little tool closet with reinforced armor and stuff. I am actually going to take the reinforced helmet just so I have a copy of it. Security locker, more crap. This leads into the room that had that hologram. There we go. Programmer's Digest. Madre Chips. Oh, what's that? That's a security password, whatchamacallit. I don't know, was that for uh, this one, I guess? Where is she? The other guests screaming to be let Where out. is she? To let go. Sinclair, is that you? There Sinclair? she is. Sinclair, I'm trapped. Should I uh, try coming around Security this way? Let me out. They're keeping me here. Yeah, this is the only room I haven't really been in. I think there's a door right there that I see. So I need her to turn around. There we go. Check around real quick. Fancy lads. There's another one there. Oh, I don't want to sleep, no. Got a door here. That hologram was... Oh, hello. That hologram's right there. Turn off the radio before she... She's just going in a circle. She's going in a circle. Okay. That's easy. So go ahead and slip through here. I think we're, uh, we're on the other side of the floor now. Yeah, that's uh, that door there that we couldn't get through. Is there another terminal we can open? Or use to open it? We can activate the gas valve, repair that. And that opens that, okay. Oh, there's a toxic cloud. Don't want to stand in that. I say as I go and stand in it. Let's uh, see what we can buy. We have a lot of chips. A lot of chips. Uh, let's go ahead and get that mod. Uh, just one. Just one. And let's get the Bear Trap Fist Heavy Duty Springs mod too. Just one. Just one. That way we have those for later. That leads into Vera's room, where Christine is, but we'll leave that for now. We'll continue looking around first. What is that? It's a sweet security pass. Looks like that was a security guard that, uh... Yeah. Uh, blood splatter by the head. Gun by his hand. Yeah. I know what he did. Do you guys know what he did? I think you know. We got a lot of uh, skill magazines there as I'm just standing next to a radio or something like an idiot. Where is it? Where I was standing by it somewhere. Oh, there it is. It's right on the dresser. Let's uh, exit real quick and turn that off. There we go. Alright, now what's in here? whole lot of nothing in here. Some metal armor, that's decent. A medical supply kit. There we go. Alright. Now I think we're ready to go talk to uh, Christine. The new Christine with a voice. She is just in here. In that room there, I believe. So this was Vera Keys' room. There's a few different things around here. Looks like she had her own bar here. Chemistry set. You can use it to create some stim packs or some chems. You have her computer terminal here that can unlock the security door. There's a safe with more chips and her outfit. You probably want to grab that. It's a unique outfit. So this is the elevator to the vault from her room. 
This is why we need Christine now that she has her new voice. So let's talk to Christine. You made it. Good. Just to talk. I'll keep this quick in case my voice goes out. You sound like the woman in the Sierra Madre broadcast. Do I? Sounds off to my ears. Hard to tell. Not to mention it. Hurts like hell to swallow. Might be why I got moved off to this suite. It's hers. That's her over there. Got trapped by security like I did. Just took a different way out. Now that your voice is back, what did you want to say? I've been hunting the one who hijacked your pit boy, Elijah, for some time. He cannot leave the Sierra Madre alive. What he's done? What he's done here is nothing compared to what he's done in the past. The only way to bring him out is if you get to the vault. He won't allow you to go down there alone. That's when we kill him. How long have you been hunting him? Too long. Thought I might have had a chance to settle it before this event happened. But then the chance slipped away again. Settle it? You're here to kill him. Those are my orders. I've seen what he's done, and I believe in those orders. Sounds personal, I don't know. He cut me off from someone I cared about a long time ago. He used his status to break us apart. So I had to find a new purpose. Same Thana. Then he became unstable. Left a trail of crimes across the wasteland. Once word reached us, I was ordered to kill him. He said he knew you. He saw me before the scars at a place far from here. It's where he found some of the technology he uses now. It's a place called the Big Empty. The name's deceptive, if you know where to look. Almost got trapped there. There was someone else, though, who came along. Knew about Elijah. So they're talking about the Big Empty again. The location of the third DLC. Apparently Christine and Elijah were there with a third person who somehow knew Elijah. How? No idea. A courier. Wore an old world flag on his back. He was the one who pulled me out there. Told me where Elijah had gone. Helped me heal up. Listened to my story. He... sympathized. He was a courier like us with an old world banner. Why did he sympathize? He said he understood what it meant to track someone who had such a impact on his past life. He said people were like couriers, sometimes never understanding the messages they brought. That's who he was hunting for. Some courier. Well, uh, he could have said something sooner. Ah, uh, no, I mean, probably couldn't have, to be honest. Wasn't sure until now I could trust you. Now I know. Look, when I woke up here, however that happened, I had this key on me. I think it belongs to her. Haven't had a chance to use it yet. Might open the dresser or the safe. Didn't have time to experiment with it before you arrived. Here you go. How did you get here from the gala event and onto this floor? The gala went off. The switching station opened up. Thought the screeching in the auto dock was bad. The station worse. Got outside, saw the light show, and it was enough to make me run to the casino. Also, it seemed like the lights and speakers were helping to guide me. Guess your master wanted a backup in case you died. As for being assigned to this floor, maybe it's because of my new voice. Your guess is as good as mine. Maybe it recognized me as a guest. There's a chance he'll see reason. Try and reason with him, see what happens. He's so lost in his technology, I don't think he even understands why anymore. Well, uh, again, you could have said something sooner. Sure Wait, we already went through that. Does the auto dock work? Yeah, it's still functional. A lot of garbage data on it. Its basic procedures should still work fine. Anything you can download off of it? I can see. Check the route. Recent diagnostics. A lot of medex was dispensed for Vera Keys. Guess that's her corpse there for certain. And why all those meds are scattered around in here. Here's the medical report. Looks like she had some sort of terminal condition. Diagnosis isn't conclusive. Must have been painful. I'm not even sure she knew if these medical reports are enough. She must have been numb most of the time. 
Can the auto dock heal your scars? No. They run a lot deeper than that. While I was hunting Elijah in the big empty, he trapped me in one of those medical research centers buried there. It did something to my head, and I got off lucky. It's difficult enough to read now, and somehow the leap between what's in my head and words. It just ends up being a mishmash of symbols, not letters. I can still do math, formulas, equations, or writing poetries out. Said you got off lucky? Yeah. I saw records of other patients and what had been done to them. Some couldn't hear anything but static. Others just gibbering wrecks. Never going back. And Elijah was on his way here, so I couldn't stop to see if it was something I could fix. If you can even fix what happened to me when they jabbed the electrodes into my skull and turned my head into a flashlight. Then I got here, and my voice got severed. Now I have a new one. Another thing Elijah has to answer for. Well, uh, I had some questions. Right. Just glad I can answer you now. Um, okay. Should have said something sooner. Does autodoc work? Just glad you're safe. Hold up here. I'll take care of Elijah. Good luck. He's not an easy opponent. If I can, I'll help. Might be able to figure something out using the Sierra Madre's computer systems. Alright. So we now have Christine here on our side. Let's take a look around Veracruz's room. We have the Mark 1 auto dock. We can download the medical history. Did we download that? Did it uh, appear? Okay, yeah, we have a few different things. The Entertainer Pass, the recipe for the superheated knife, the Sweets Password Reminder. Kevin, make sure to get a separate security override for the hallway or loudspeakers before you leave tonight. The last thing we need is our comms going down in the middle of a robbery. Set it to blah. That should prevent a lucky guest by some hack with a stolen security card. Thanks, Ruben. Sweet Security Pass and her medical report. Sinclair, there's not much more we can do for Miss Keys except keep her comfortable. Her exhaustion will persist, as will the insomnia. Recommend co continuing medex slash super stim treatments. This is not a viable long-term solution. The pain will persist and increase over time, and the dosages she's currently taken already carry the risk of overdose. Based on discussions, I also fear allowing Miss Keys access to those amounts of chems may lead to purposeful overdose and recommends psychiatric evaluation as well so it seems like she had she, we knew she had a med x problem but she had a med x problem like really bad we have the key to her dresser here we can get her audition the moderate chip she has some more magazines here on her uh, nightstand with some chips in it Another card there for a challenge. Super stim packs, more chips. Empty nightstand with some absinthe. And a super stim pack next to the body of Vera Keys. And I guess we can take the dress right off her. I mean, it, it's, it's not weird, right? I mean, she's a, she's a dead body. She's a skeleton. You can't even... You can't even tell that's a girl, so, like... It's not weird, right? No, it can't be. Uh, we're, we're, we'll, we'll just leave that there. Um, Trying to think. Do I want to do the uh, final part this episode? Or do I want to leave you guys on a... On a uh, cliffhanger? I think we'll leave this on a cliffhanger. A little bit of a shorter episode today. But that way we can go through the final area next time and get all the ending stuff done and it won't be too long. So with that, we've found all our companions in the Sierra Madre. We are right outside the vault entrance. We have everything we need to get inside, I believe. We just need to get inside and find Elijah, find the vault. And then maybe we can let go. Hello, hello. She's uh, trying out her new voice. But uh, that's going to be next time. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you then. Bye-bye.